Hi guys, welcome to this video. Today we're going to be installing uh, Manjaro, uh, the KDE version. Uh, I haven't looked at Manjaro for a long time now because uh, in the previous, uh, in, in the past, I had some issues with Manjaro, was crashing after a while of use. So, what my plan is is to uh, install uh, Manjaro KDE uh, XSV version, uh, uh, as that is the main uh, flagship. Um, I will be installing it, uh, then I will tweak it to my liking and I will use it for a, a longer period so I can do a full review of Manjaro. In this video I will just do the installation and I will make a follow up video where I do the things that I do after installation. So let's go ahead and just do a normal installation. Launch the installer and let the installer do its work. American English, next, 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 so erase the disk, so this is, um, swap with Hibernate, no Hibernate swap, so this is fine, click next, so my full name, TDL. Um, and yeah, password. Uh, use the same password for the administrator. Next. This is how I want it. Install now. I will just leave it as is, as a default installation. I use this work uh, laptop only for uh, testing purposes and my main machine uh, will have all my documents on. So this is pretty fine. So the installation uh, is going on. Let's see how long it takes. Um, Manjaro is based on, uh, on Arch Linux. Um, Arch has always been my favorite uh, distribution. But lately I've been uh, working with uh, Pop OS. That is very nice in, uh, in its way it's used the installer and the way it works. It's very fast uh, and it's very stable. Um, so yeah, for most of the time I'm now using uh, Pop OS, but I just wanted to try another Manjaro or an Arch Linux based in, uh, yeah, distro to see how far we are on that. Uh, in the past, I had some issues with Manjaro, where I, um, if the updater is going through uh, Pacman, that's the default one, uh, it, it suddenly doesn't boot anymore. Uh, and I had it now for three times because Manjaro is one of the first uh, Arch based Linux uh, distributions I used. Um, it was always very good. And it runs very smoothly in the beginning, but as you start using it, I had issues with it. So I'm hoping to overcome that they have come this uh, issue now uh, with the newer versions, and I hope we get a stable system now. But the installation is going on, and after the installation, I will be right back. So we're back. Uh, I didn't speed up anything, so this is just playing the installation of uh, the Manjaro Linux. Uh, you can hear my fan going on uh, because uh, we've done an installation. So we're gonna restart the machine now and let's see what we have. See you back after the restart. 
So we're back after the restart. So let's go over what the basic installation has for us. So first we are seeing the welcome screen. Uh, here you have some documentation where you can go to, uh, the support things that you can go to, and the project development where you can go to. Um, so yeah, this basic set of scre uh, welcome screen. So let's close it for now. If you default wallpaper, uh, here we have uh, the lockout button. We have, of course, a date and time with a calendar. We have the audio. We have clip it, clipboard. We have the update manager here. Uh, wi Fi, the battery indicator, Bluetooth. Uh, the kernel installation so you can select your kernel that you want to run and basic two desktops and this is the show desktop so minimize all desktop on the left side we have the menu uh, it's a basic menu um, in the left you have all your favorites on the right you have all your other programs on top your name we have the settings we have the lock screen we can switch the user and we can lock out let's see what's installed under accessories we have the application finder archive manager bulk rename catfish clipman uh, yeah the basic normal tools that you have uh, Majaro application utility let's start up that one so you can select here what you want to install so this is one of the software install possibilities um, what else do we have the user guide the menu editor mousepad simple text editor um, screenshot the task manager Let's run the task manager. We're using 13% of the memory. We have 60% of the CPU. While it's doing nothing, just recording. So 30% uh, of the memory uh, will be something like, because it's eight, um, around a gig. But it is doing video capture at this moment. On the graphics, we only have the GG color. On the internet, we have the Midori web browser. The Midori is the most simple web browser that you can get. A lightweight web browser. So very lightweight, very simple. Uh, multimedia, we have a media player. Pulse Audio, and I installed a simple screen recorder, so it wasn't there. On the Office, we have nothing special. Under the settings, of course, all the settings that you can get for uh, the basics of an XFCE environment. And we have just plain settings. So add and remove software. That will be the second one that you can use for your software. This is probably Pemic. Yeah, Pemic. So you have two options. You have, uh, eventually you have three options to install your software because you, you have the Pemic. We had the uh, Manjaro application utility. Now this one. And of course you can use Pac Man on the command line because it's an art based system. Then we have, of course, uh, icons on the desktop for your file system, for your trash, and for your home. Um, let's go for the desktop settings. Uh, they just they don't deliver much uh, on the wallpapers, just the basics ones. And here you can select what icons you want on your desktop as well. 
So right click, open a new window, create a launcher, create a URL, create a folder, create a document, the terminal of course, terminal Athena root, so that is the files, uh, as, uh, file application as root, so you have to put in your password. You can go to other parts of your system when you're using the root account. Search, arrange desktop settings, properties of your settings, and applications. You have here again the application menu with all your applications. So yeah guys, this is what you get when you install Manjaro for the first time. Um, Looking from it from an experienced user, I know what to do now and then I'm going to install my software, but it will be in the next video. But if you are a new user uh, and you have this, it's basic and then you can still install all the software that you need. But it's very basic and you can work on it with the, with the browser, um, but yeah, it's plain, simple, empty. Uh, Linux environment, so you have to tweak it a lot before it comes yours. Um, this will be done in the next video, hope you liked this one and see you in the next one. Bye for now.